Just like Philadelphia Eagle fans can climb a Grease life pole, the market can climb a wall of worry. Here's what you need to know before the bell. Markets have been rallying here over the last few weeks here as expectations for a soft landing become much more prevalent in the economic data as well as the media bias. Again, this has been lifting asset prices, particularly as we go through earnings season. As we noted before, of course, the first five days of January, very positive. The month of January is going to end on a very positive note. Going into today's session, the market's already trading up over 5% for the month. And as we've talked about here recently, there is a rising level of bullishness in the markets from the fact that moving averages are beginning to cross positive. Now, we're very close. That hasn't happened yet, but we are getting very close to these moving averages of 50 and the 20-day crossing above the 200-day. That's technically a very bullish sign. Also, of course, our MACD signal is still in place here on a buy signal, suggesting prices moving higher here short term. Now, This week, though, we've got the Fed coming up. This is the most anticipated FOMC meeting since the last one. And, of course, the expectation is that the Fed will hike 25 basis points. That's already pretty much factored into the markets right now. What isn't factored in, of course, is a much more hawkish statement for Jerome Powell. As we've said before, rising asset prices are not actually good for the Federal Reserve as it loosens financial conditions, which is the opposite of what the Fed's trying to achieve to bring down the rate of inflation. And that hasn't been achieved yet as prices are rising, albeit at a slower pace, but still rising on inflation. The Fed's big concern is is a reacceleration of inflation before they actually get to their goal. So again, no reason the Fed is going to back off the paddle at this point, but this is what the markets are hoping for. Markets are hoping for a rate hike, potentially a pause, and start having rate cuts by June or July. So again, markets running well ahead of the Fed right now. Now, this morning, futures are pricing lower. A pullback to this cluster of support here between the 50, the 20-day, and the 200-day moving average, a successful retest of that, and then a move above Friday's highs will be a very bullish signal for the market. That would be a successful retest of that breakout of the downtrend line and a successful retest of the 200-day moving average, that would be a very bullish signal for the markets. A break below this cluster of moving averages, and we're likely going to retest lows here pretty quickly. Of course, this will all be dependent on what the Fed says and how it's interpreted by the markets as we wrap up the month of January. I'm Rose Lance Robertson. That's what you need to know before the bell.